travel with us back in time to an era called the Renaissance, when things were very different from the way they are today. The Renaissance Pleasure Fair, where each year thousands of people attend, looking for that authentic Renaissance experience. The fair starts at 10 o'clock, and by 10.20, many people are wondering why the clocks are running so slowly. The first surprise one discovers is that during the Renaissance, women were much taller than they are today. But fortunately, these are referred to as the good old days because women knew their place. And their place was washing clothes and talking. And talking when they were supposed to be washing clothes. Many women were virgins during the Renaissance and a virgin could achieve a high level of status, eventually equaling that of Freddie Mercury. One of the many ways to accurately capture the taste of the Renaissance is by drinking authentic Renaissance ale in authentic Renaissance plastic cups. The Renaissance Fair offers a variety of ways to remember your trip and to enjoy it fully. Many musical styles actually originated during the Renaissance, even though we believe they're from the most recent century. Those include bluegrass. Boy bands also started during the Renaissance period, except in these days they played their own instruments. Also, many classic rockers at this time tried to revitalize their career. And musicians such as Tori Amos, believed to be from the 1980s and 90s, actually had their origins. But of course, the biggest rock star of the Renaissance was Sting. Sting is still in the Renaissance today. As is Johnny Depp. Also invented during the Renaissance, disgruntled Raiders fans. In full costume, with nothing to do for eight months out of the year. Many games were invented during the Renaissance, including Jenga. And of course, with games and sports comes the inevitable cheerleaders. Try it! Make some yes. noise! <laughs> much better! Much better! It was also during this time period when fake sports, like wrestling, had their origins. Other modern ideas, not usually associated with the Renaissance, are when lesser endowed men try to prove their masculinity by riding large vehicles with phallic imagery. The Renaissance also featured religious zealots trying to stop everybody having fun. The religious zealots later merged with the Republican Party. It was once believed that technology during the Renaissance period was extremely primitive and limited, but modern research has proved that assumption incorrect. In fact, the origins of modern capitalism began during this period, and one of the first big sellers of the Renaissance was staves, commonly referred to now as sticks. But many modern inventions were actually invented during the Renaissance, including outdoor bathrooms. Electric wheelchairs also date from this period, as do baby strollers, which the British refer to as perambulators. One of the biggest surprises is the fact that cell phones actually date back to the Renaissance period, and not the last 10 years, as most people believe. But of course, the biggest innovation of the Renaissance was cleavage. Cleavage was very popular during this period and remains popular today. But like the Renaissance, all good things must come to an end. And after a long day in the hot sun, drinking ale from plastic cups, everyone must return back to their normal, modern life of LA traffic filled with that Renaissance spirit. Thank you for taking this trip with us back to the Renaissance period. And now we return to the 21st century.